Hey everybody, it's your pal Sal from Sal Dougie's House of Cards, and today we're going to focus on a couple hobby good guys. So the first is a good guy I've featured on a video before, and it is a trader on tradingcarddatabase.com, NJ Devils. Uh, as I've said in a previous video, uh, they'll just send, him, send me cards out of the blue. Uh, it's someone I purchased from back in 2020, a few uh, vintage cards purchases that uh, were a really good deal for me so uh, even more generous uh, cards will just show up uh, from this trader uh, that are on marked on my want list in tradingcarddatabase.com so uh, this time it was a bunch of hockey cards so uh, that is very timely as the NHL season started this week so these are from 1984-85 tops and we got a couple of Boston Bruins right off the bat looks like three of them here Rick Middleton, Nevin Marquardt, for those of you keeping score at home, and Terry O'Reilly, so some good pickups for free for the Bruins PC, and then we got a little bit more household names on the rest of these, these are all from that same set, Bill Housley on the Sabres, Guy Lafleur, Brian uh, Trot Trottier, I'm guessing. Should know how to pronounce that one. Stanley Cup champion and big NHL star. And then we got a couple all-stars from the Edmonton Oilers. These are beautiful. We got Paul Coffey, looking great in that Oilers uniform. And Mark Messier. So awesome, awesome cards for free. From NJ Devils at, on tradingcarddatabase.com. So for those of you that use the site maybe look them up and try to stir up some trades and then the main attraction i got from my friend at work dougie and he knows that the one set that i'm putting together the one set that i'm building is 1987 tops and i'm trying to do it as much as possible from packs uh, sometimes I find them in repacks, uh, and I'll, I'll pick them up that way too, mainly because I could have all these cards for free in like a minute if I just posted a message on Trading Card Database, but I kind of want to build it, at least uh, get, I don't know, a good 75% of it built through packs. Um, I have picked up some packs. Um, it's been a little while since I bought one because the um, pricing kind of changed, uh, and they were not such a, a good deal, so I just kind of paused, but... Um, Dougie was able to get this one, I think, from an auction for cheap. And uh, I've got about half of the set built, uh, mostly out of packs. I've found a, found a few cards here and there. Um, but yeah, so we're going to go ahead and open this up. And I will uh, post at the end of the video how many of these I needed for the set. So we can see a few in the cellophane. The All-Star is Lance Parrish. Pretty sure I don't have that one. But I'm not necessarily building the glossy All-Star portion of the set, but still a good add for the PC. On the back, Larry McWilliams, Mike Woodard, and Spike Owen, which honestly I think I have all of those. Definitely have that Lonnie Smith, Scott Bales maybe. So let's see what other cards are in there. Here we go. Oh look, Lance Parrish just magically appeared. Spooky. So as we said, there's that 86 All-Star Lance Parrish. That's a beautiful one. Here we go. Tim Hullett. We got a white sock. Here, I'll kind of drop him on in the stack. Mike Smithson. Jay Howell. Jerry Mumphrey. Jim Presley. Clint Hurdle. Lance McCullers, I believe his son is in the league now. Juan Espino. Good looking Ron Darling card here on the Mets. Oh, here's a classic. Rob Deere and the Rob, this one's extra good because this is if you follow along, you may notice I shout him out as a legendary construction worker. If you look at the back of this card, I'll just read it off for you here. Rob Deere works for his father's construction firm. That's his uh, fun fact on the back of his card. So, Outstanding home run hitter slash bobcat driver, Rob Deere. 
Doug DeCensis, Wade Boggs, good card there. I definitely remember that from my childhood. Mike Mason, Junior Ortiz. This is a cool card. I didn't know this one was in there until I was an adult. Vita Blue is in the 1987 top set. I think that's the last one. I don't think he's in 88 tops. Floyd Humans and Larry McWilliams. So there is our first sell. Let's see who we got in the next one. All right, here we go with the second sell. We got Lonnie Smith, Henry Cotto, Chuck Carey, Joel Davis, another White Sox. Got those uh, old Sox hats and unis on. Lamar Hoyt, Dickie Knowles, Jose De Leon, Chuck Tanner. Yankees leaders, and I think that is, uh, I think that's Mattingly and Ricky Henderson. Frank Williams. Steve Fire Ovid. What a name on Fire Ovid. Ed Wojna or Wona. Hal Lanier. Cubs leaders, and that one they tell you they got uh, Ron Say and Steve Trout. On the 87 Cubs leaders. Let's see who our Cubs leaders were in 87. Runs, Keith Moreland, hits. Ryan Sandberg with 176. Sean Dunstan doubles. Leon Durham hits seven triples in 1986. That's pretty wild. Home run leader was shared by Jody Davis and Gary Matthews at 21. So power outage on the north side for sure. RBI was Moreland at 79. Stolen bases, Sandberg at 34, and batting average, Sandberg at 284. On the pitching side, Lee Smith appeared in 66 games, accuracy through 201 innings. Steve Sanderson and Lee Smith split the win title at 9. Eckersley took the strikeout lead at 137. Sutcliffe threw four complete games. Four players tied with one shutout. Lee Smith had 31 saves. And Scott Sanderson was your ERA leader at 4.19. Just a couple cards left in this cell. Bob Gritch. Wade Roden. And Mike Woodard. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at cell three. All right, here we go with cell three. We got Scott Bales. Don Sutton, so I think this was also the last top set for Don Sutton. The aforementioned Ron Say. George Bell. Jim Traver. Bill Mooneyham. Mooneyham. Tom Herr. Roy Smalley. Willie Hernandez. Going back to back on the Willies here with Willie Wilson. Got a checklist here. We got cards 135 through checklist number 264, which is this card. So there's our checklist. Pretty boring checklist. Ernie Witt. Brian Fisher. Ed DeBerg, sorry, Ed Vandeberg, Chris Chambliss, so kind of a cool Chris Chambliss card there, don't think I have that one, and Spike Owen, so pretty good pack for my guy Dougie, we got a Rob Deere, we got a Wade Boggs, got that Ron Say, Bob Gritch, so not exactly Ron Darling in there, so not, a, not exactly star studded, but a pretty good pack, and I definitely saw some ones in there I think I need. So at this point in the video, I'm going to put that number up so you can all see how many needs were filled from this cell, uh, rack pack, cellophane pack. And thanks again to Dougie for the pack and to NJ Devils for those hockey cards. Thank you all for checking in. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will talk to you all in the future.